incredible. Are you happy to be here? Is there anywhere in the world you'd rather be right There's now? There's no place in the world I'd rather be than right here, That's right now at Robert's Castle. That's exactly what we want to hear. Okay. Very good. Listen, Mike, I met Mike in September. Um, we were on the tennis courts and and you know he, he has a little game. He doesn't have a great game I had to carry him through the tournament. However, well, he's a great guy. Doubles? We were doing doubles and uh, and he helped me to win a purple jacket Which is the, the highest trophy in the tournament and uh, I'm so president he must of the American have some kind of game. Oh, he has a great game. I'm just teasing <laughs> <laughs> But but he invited me to meet some friends and and it's just an honor to be here He's a good Kappa brother from St. Louis. I'm from Philly, but we're trying to do a lot of good things with American Tennis Association So it's just a privilege to be here. That's well, a good question. We, 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 we're thinking about it. As a matter of fact, if you help me out, I can make it happen. I just need we, a little How are we going to make this happen? All he has to do is talk, talk to me and I'll talk it together. And I'm certain that we can make it happen. We would love to do that. It's a, we this have, is a wonderful fact, place. This year in Fort Lauderdale, we're going to have a contingent from the Bahamas and St. Thomas hey, in Florida. So, Excuse me. So that's where we'll be. Ms. Ms. Pratt, we would can, love, give me a love second, to please. be there. Personally, I can't think of a better place to play tennis than the Bahamas. I can't think of a better place can you to help be. Us get and as long as we can have the course facilities, we can definitely do it here. Well, I'm He's sure so if anybody can make it happen, it's this can, guy right we can here. Make it happen. So. Okay, well, I'm going to handshake on that because we're going to make it happen. We'd love to have <laughs> you in the Bahamas and the Hello. folks that do all the accounting work. Excuse me. Are you enjoying your evening doctor. thus far? Need the good doctor. I just got here. Yeah. You just got here. Frank Scott from Philadelphia. Charlene Small. Pleasure. Charlene. And she's is, here in the Bahamas? She's here yes. in the Bahamas. KPMG. Okay. okay. KPMG. She KPMG. made sure the money is right. Excellent. Do, and we're do making you know Dr. money. Spock with Ferguson from here? Name sounds familiar. I know Dr. Spock. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure and introduce you to him. But you need to, he's here in the Bahamas. But we would love to come here. We'd love to bring the American Tennis Association here. Okay. Uh, we have anywhere between 900 to 1,500 African American tennis players, and we have it during the summer months. So if we can accommodate that, we would love to do that. And, that sounds good because I play tennis. Excellent. You okay. play tennis. Very Great. good. Very good. Well, we're going to make it happen. All right. We're well, looking forward, Doc. So Appreciate it. Me too. I'm All actually right. going to so hold the racket, and I like the tennis dresses. <laughs> the tennis dresses Perfect. are really the best part of the game for me. I like the tennis. Hi. How are you? I'm doing good. Good, good. The hotel business <laughs> Tell me about the hotel business and your association with the Bahamas. Well, with the Bahamas, I've been coming to the Bahamas for almost 15, my, 15 years, my wife and I. And from a hotel business perspective, I've been involved with um, the Black Hotel Owners Developers uh, Association for probably the last four to five years uh, with Andy Ingram. And uh, it's really been a ball and a fun uh, to be associated with. I met uh, Mike at, at the Trumpet Awards a couple of years ago. And from there, we've had an opportunity to build a tremendous relationship along with uh, his brother Stephen as well. So uh, we come to the Bahamas every year and we look forward to coming and being uh, a part of this as well. Well, I hope you're having a wonderful evening. Are you enjoying yourself so far tonight? Yes, I am. I just walked in the door, so it's time for me to just let go and uh, Yeah, enjoy time to myself. relax and really enjoy what the Bahamas has to offer. You're exactly right, and I'm going to do that. All right. Thank you nice so to much. meet you. All right. Take care. One of the greatest motivational speakers. I'm sorry, man. Hello. Hi. I'm doing well. How are you tonight? I'm in top of the world. Top of the world. Are you enjoying? Enjoying yourself tonight? Well, hey, grab just came. It's all this going to be fun. So yeah, I'm definitely. Give out a few business cards. Look at that. Well, well, nowhere else you'd rather be tonight, right? Uh, yeah. Outside drinking. Outside drinking. That's fair. Yeah, uh, drinking. Well, enjoy your evening. Thank you. Hi. Oh, how are you doing I'm today? Great. I'm great. I'm in top shape. How's it going? It's going wonderfully. I'm in the Bahamas. It's warm. I'm not freezing in Virginia, so I'm happy. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> Should be. But are you having a good night so far? Yes, I'm having a good night, yes. I just got in, but it looks like it's going to be a great party. Definitely. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a great party. Well, please enjoy yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you. Are you happy to be here? That's the right attitude starting off 2012 with the Without right way. Question. Go to willyjolly.com, get my free gift I have for everybody who goes there. Say you heard me on the Bahamas TV, and I'm telling you, we'll grow you to the next level. Have a great day. And a great 
2012. Thank you. And what's your association with these guys? How do you meet them? Mike Roberts and I have been speaking. We've been friends at speaking events around uh, around the world, and we were had the opportunity to speak at the Birmingham uh, Financial Coalition together. And then we were asked by Dr. Dorothy Height the chairman of the National Council of Negro Women, the last council meeting she chaired before her death, she invited us personally to be her special guest speaker. So Michael opened the conference, I closed the conference, and we had that opportunity to speak with Dr. Hyde. So we're good friends. Well, that's wonderful, and what a great event to bond at. Absolutely. That's, that's wonderful to Absolutely. Hear. Well, welcome to be here. Bahamas. Welcome to the Bahamas. We're happy to have you I'm glad in the Bahamas. to be here, and I'm going to come back again. Keep your eyes open, because the best is yet to come. Thank you. Thank you. Keon. Keon, what grade are you in? First grade. Wow. And you're almost as tall as me, and I have on heels. <laughs> But are you having fun tonight? Yeah. Is there anywhere else you'd rather be? No. Yeah, that's the right answer. That's the right answer. Well, have a good night and have fun. I might, I might need to come back and go in the pool. The hot yeah, tub. maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Wave at the camera. My name is Franklin Wilson. How do you do? Great. Nice to meet you. Are My you enjoying pleasure. your evening so far? Oh, it's fabulous. Always have a great time. At these wonderful people from St. Louis. Definitely. Great. <laughs> um, we were just talking about what we think the next big step in hotel development in the Bahamas is going to be. What are, what are your thoughts on the subject? Well, what's happening right now is that uh, under construction is the largest uh, project going in um, really in North America right now, which is the Bahama project right down the street from here. Uh, it's about a $3 billion project. Um, it's going to have a, 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 a Rosewood Hotel, a Sheridan Hotel, um, Morgan Hotel, you know, about six different brands. A uh, huge casino, tons of amenities. So that's going to be uh, the next big thing in the Bahamas. Should be open in about uh, 2014. Definitely. And we're, and we're, as excited as everyone is about Bahamar, I think it's going to be a great um, influx for the Bahamas. But um, as far as development on the family islands, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think they're going to do smaller hotels or bigger? Oh yeah, smaller hotels. And the, the best part in the Bahamas is always a place called Cotton Day in Illusion. A hotel on the Gulf Coast is being created there and it's going to be absolutely fabulous. Wonderful. Remember you heard the name Cotton Day. Cotton Bay. I will write fabulous. that down because I'm going to need to remember that. Okay. Well, thank you. Nice to meet you. Have a good evening. Great. You're all pretty and sparkly. We try very hard. <laughs> are you enjoying your evening so far? I am. It looks lovely. There are a lot of lovely people here. We're gonna partake on some of this food, and it has all the promises of a good night. Well, enjoy. How do How do you know these guys? Well, I cover the NABHUD events all the time, and okay. so I'm in with the hotel industry just to tap it. Nice. Mm -hmm. So, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Happy Stop New Year, party. enjoy yourself, have a great evening. How do you feel about the camera? Uh, well, I'm a cameraman, I'm, in, right. the, um, I'm in the business, media business. Wonderful to hear, and are you enjoying yourself this evening? I'm simply enjoying this. I was a little nervous that we didn't get the invitations early, and I told Mike, I said, what happened? The invitations are late this year, so I'm always concerned when I don't see my invitation in time, because it's in an annual event. And this is the spot to be on December this 30th. This is the spot. Listen, when Mike comes to town, everybody gravitates to the side of the island. We're that's, excited about this, as always. That's wonderful to hear. So, do you have any thoughts on the next step towards hotel development in the Bahamas? Well, you know that we have the Bama project underway. The Bama project is the biggest project in the country right now. But I believe personally the future of the Bahamas is um, the out islands, developing the family islands. The, there, there are only so many mega resorts we can have on one island. And then we're saturated, of course. You've got Atlantis, you've got now Bama, and then now the family islands need to be developed. So the, the, the future of the country, in terms of tourism, has to do with the development of those niche little islands. The former administration had a great idea uh, to develop an anchor project on each island, which will then allow the community to benefit from these uh, resorts that come in, small or large. The fact of the matter is, future of tourism has to do with the growth of the family islands. 
And um, do you feel that this na this will be easy to market? How are you, what what is the target market for the family islands? I haven't defined what the target market is, but whenever you open a new market, people tend to gravitate to it just to see what it's about. Whenever something new is on the market, people gravitate towards it. And I believe that each island has its own, its own culture, its own way of life that can be marketed in a specific way to bring in those persons who may gravitate towards, let's say, Cat Island or Andrus or Exuma. But the fact for us is to be able to allow each island to be focused on its own products. And that's why I said the former administration said, look, put an anchor project on each island, and those anchor projects will then have its own identity relative to the local community. That, well, that I think is wonderful to hear, and thank you so much for your thoughts, and My I pleasure. hope you have a wonderful evening. And I wish you a wonderful new year. Thank you, and you too. Thank you very much. Cheers. Tonight. Are you enjoying yourself so far? Uh, ha I am having a great time so far. Happy to be here. No place I'd rather be than the Bahamas. It is best in the Bahamas. Best better. in exact, exactly. Anytime anybody asks me, is it better in the Bahamas? I say, of course it is. Why would you want to be anywhere else? And as for your night in the Bahamas, it's going well so far? Great. Well, that's good to hear. How do you know these guys? Mr. Mr. Mike Roberts. Well, uh, I'm one of, I'm the branch manager of one of the banks that he deals with. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Well, I hope you all have a beautiful evening and continue to enjoy and a happy new year to you as well. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. How are you all doing tonight? Good, good. Are you, are you? I'm fine, fine. Are you doing well? I'll be doing fine, Papi. Enjoying your evening so far? Everything you thought it would be and more? Meeting new people, very nice people from Houston. Been very good way to kick off the start to New Year, right? Good way to end 11 and bring in 12. Tonight, but um, Philip met him early on the year. Okay. So he invited us to come out and be a part of this event. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, we met at the seminar that was held um, last month. Actually, the yeah, British Colonial, Andy Ingram, and uh, those that um, put the seminar, and I met him there. And so here we are, hoping that we would form of really good relationship and um, you know things can work well in 2012. I'm sure this is the start of a strong partnership for you two in 2012 and I wish you the best of luck and I hope you enjoy your evening. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Mike Roberts. Welcome to the Roberts Castle tonight. Uh, we are very happy to have hosted about 300 people. We wanted to dine them to let them know what it's really like to be an investor in the Bahamas and to have uh, a place to share. As we look at 2012, it's time for us all to continue to come together, bring our businesses together, bring our interests together, and by doing that, we will make a, uh, a great 2012, 2013 in the future. So my mission here is to bring strangers together at the beginning of the night, and then everyone walks away as a friend. Potentially, as we've seen tonight, we've had many, many business deals and connections take place, networking. Uh, we at NABHood, I'm chairman of the board of NABHood, 
And uh, as those of us in the hotel business are interested in making sure that folks consider the diversity of their investments, get into ownership of hotels, especially people of African descent. So I want to wish everybody a Happy New Year. Thank you all for coming. Thanks for those who are watching. Maybe you'll be able to make it next year.